Hi, my name is David Hernston and I'm going to demonstrate my timeline sync tools. The first one I'm going to demonstrate is sync instance names. And there are two different versions of this command. There's sync instance names forward and sync instance names backward. Basically the situation is you've done some animation on this movie clip and you like how your animation's going but then you realize, oh, I wanted to have an instance name on that movie clip. But then I have all these different keyframes. I don't want to have to go through and set on on every single keyframe. So what I'll do is I'll just choose a keyframe. It doesn't really matter which one. Select my symbol and then give it an instance name. I'll just call it Bob. So now this instance of this symbol has the instance name Bob. But then none of these other ones do, like this one still has no instance name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the one that I named and then I go to my commands menu, which is where I have my sync timeline commands, scroll down, find it, and I say I want to sync instance names forward. So what that's going to do is that gonna that's going to take the instance name of this guy and then make all instances of that symbol from this point on have the same name. So now I can go to this one and you can see it has this, the same instance name. Now the ones before still don't because it only it only goes forward. But uh, then I just run the other command and sync instance names backwards. And then all the ones before have the same name. And that's pretty much it. Uh, next I'm going to demonstrate the simple sync forward command. What this one does is I've got a, a bunch of different keyframes of this symbol. All these keyframes are in the same spot but they have different looping characteristics. So I'm just going to go inside this one and you can see this symbol is just a single thing that's rotating around itself. So uh, back on the main timeline, uh, for instance, I go to this frame, its first frame property is 5. That means that the fifth frame is what it's displaying right now. And it's set to single frame. So it's only going to display that one frame for the entirety of the keyframe. Uh, now what happens here is that I want to sync it up so that all these keyframes go along and, and have the same corresponding looping settings. So initially this, this first one is set to single frame and its first frame is set to, to one. Let's say I want to just make the whole thing be uh, play once. I want, I want the whole timeline to be play once. So I'm going to select that symbol and I'm going to say commands sync symbols. And that's going to go forward from that point and make all of those symbols be in line with each other in terms of their, their sync properties. Now this one starts on frame one. The next one should start on frame four. And look at that, it does. The next one should start on frame 14. And that one does. So yeah, that just went through and, and basically synced them all up. You can also do this with looping. So I'm going to set this to Oops, I'm going to set this to loop, and then it'll it'll properly account for all the looping. Uh, and I will say commands sync symbols, and so then now you'll see that it it starts over again right about there. And then you can of course set it for a single frame as well. I'm going to set this to single frame frame uh, ten, and then. I will say sync symbols. And once again, it synced them all up so that they're all on frame 10. Uh, now the final thing that I'm going to do is demonstrate sync pivot points. This one operates very similar to the sync instance names command that I demonstrated before. But what this one does is it makes the pivot point, which is this thing right here, um, makes that be the same for all symbol instances of this symbol on the timeline. So I'm going to set it to have the its pivot point uh, right here. And remember these are all set to, to frame 10 right now. So what I want to do is I want to have every instance of this symbol have the pivot point right there. So it's at this l the little end of the zigzag. And just to uh, make this a little more interesting, I'm going to move these around a little bit so that you can see that it's really doing what it's supposed to do. So then I go to this one which has the pivot point where I want it to be and I say commands sync pivot points forward and now you, we can go through and you can see the pivot point at each place it's at the end of that zigzag. So this is really useful when you have a classic tween for instance. Let's make a classic tween here so you can see it's it's making its little movement but then what happens if you if you move this pivot point 
it makes it do a little jump at the end, which is pretty annoying. I'm sure that anyone who's done any amount of flash animation has run into this. So this sync pivot points is really useful for that, for, for eliminating that jump. So we just do the commands, sync pivots forward, and uh, and you can see it doesn't do the jump anymore. Nice smooth transition. And that's it for these tools. I hope you like them. If you if you'd like to learn more, you can go to my blog at www.pinkandaint.com. Thanks. Bye.